hi john here again um as i said in the previous video i was expecting my horror box either today or tomorrow and it arrived today so again new box design so this is the horror um, i think it arrived about two hours ago had some sleep, so I'm now awake. And you have, you are holding the original autograph subscription box. And more of the paper, which I think is a good idea because it keeps that level with it. Um, an extra layer basically of hiding it under. So we have. Again, this is the level up card, even though I don't really need that in there because as a moderator, we get everything anyway. Um, but it's nice to see what they look like so I can actually see up close what they say. Obviously it says box one, so we know what box it's supposed to be. We have the Captain America zombie version, which I think looks really cool with his, his eye hanging out there. Cool. And then we have the Iron Man one, which I think does look cool. Part of the mask smashed and slashed on the other side. So this is out of 250. In the other box, both the rarer pins were number 93. So we'll see what these ones are. 249 of 250. So just scraped in there so cool i know i'm not going to get 249 on the next one purely for the fact that it's only at a 99 Back in the little bag. And then obviously the Wolverine pin, which I think is quite cool. And that's obviously out of 99. And we have number. 13 of 99. I'm lucky for some. So, I think that's quite a good number to have. Obviously, with a horror, you'd like to have 66. Well, 666. But that's cool. And that's a cool set. Um, obviously I've not got the out of 50 pin, we don't get those, but still think that's cool. And then the artist select card this time is Jack Torrance from The Shining, that went out on the head completely. And obviously he's got his axe and can always guess the next one being as there's Something there, looks like it could be made of wood. And this is number 977 of 2500. And this one is by Jake Geiger as well. So that's cool. We have a scratch card. As I explained in the other video, in case you haven't watched it, the email on the back, I'm the one that basically monitors that, so any winnings that come through, I do the verification and add them to the list. So we have art print upgrade box, 
PlayStation 4, so not one. And our print or grade box. So just missed out by one. But still a cool thing. Glad we're doing them. Comic. We have Ash versus the Army of Darkness. Cool, that's the comic. So I'll look into that and see what that one's valued at, because um, there are some normal ones, there's some rarer ones. So that's cool. Uh. The thing I'm missing is the spoiler sheet. So we have the art, one of the art prints. This is the out of 2000, and this is by Ken Hazer. And this is the Universal Monsters theme. So you've got Bride of Frankenstein, um, trying to think Jekyll and Hyde, one of them there. Um, it's like a mummy sort of, obviously Frankenstein as well, um, King Kong I believe, or could be the Abominable Snowman, not 100% sure but I do like the artwork that's on there, I can sort of tell who's going to be on the next one because you've got some bats, so I'm thinking you can have Dracula around here. Well, I think that's cool. If you look down there, it's like a spider eating a fairy type thing. So, I do like that. It does do some really good artwork. And obviously this is gonna be more of a bigger print. This is gonna be three parts, similar to what we did last time, which I think will be really cool. And we have the variant version, which is out of 500, and we have number 401. Obviously just in black and white. I think that's cool. You can still recognise the characters. I think that's cool. And then we have the autograph, which when we were told who this was going to be, I was like, well, that's cool. The only thing I sort of would have hoped for is we could have done a couple of different things. We could have done a TV show she'd been in and we could have done the film. But I do like it. And it's a film, unfortunately, I've not watched. But I will. And that is from Pet Cemetery, And that is Denise Crosby. She was also Lieutenant Tasha Yar in Star Trek. And she was also in The Walking Dead as one of the people at Terminus. So that is cool. And obviously the CLA. So that is everything in the box. I haven't got the spoiler sheet to show you, which is no big deal because I've still got all the items. So we'll go back through the items. So we have the autograph which I do like. Um, the only reason why I said if we had Walking Dead, you could have Walking Dead versions. Might have been something to do, but I do like that, so that's cool. Um, I can remember watching her when she was in Star Trek as well, many years ago. And obviously two art prints. I do like Ken's work, really, really cool. So looking forward to seeing the next two. Comic, I'm gonna get that checked out. We have the artist select card, do like that. And obviously you've got the level up card, Captain America pin, Wolverine pin, and the Iron Man pin. We had our scratch card, which didn't win on, but that's cool. Totally at random, so all part of the look. And the 
covering sheet, which I think is cool. So it gives that extra layer of not seeing it and spoiling it. So that are my boxes for now. The only other items I have coming in is one trade box stroke purchase because we did a trade for some items and the other items are some items I've paid for um, that I saw and that I liked. So that's a bit of a mixture. And I think, is there one more box? Is there one more box? I think that might be it. I think there's only the trade stroke purchase that's coming now that I've had these two boxes. So, ah, yes, the BAM big box is the one I'm waiting for. Um, Galaxy box. So that will probably be in March sometime. And then obviously we'll have the, Mar the February boxes arriving um, around the start of March, middle of March. So great stuff. Thank you for watching and a Bye for now.